Hey guys, this is Bobby with No Fish Charlotte, and I'm sitting inside the studio at Exhale Healing, and I'm talking with Olga Bowman, who runs Exhale, and we're going to talk to Olga about a lot of stuff today, but first thing, thank you very much for having us here. Thanks for coming. We're really excited that No Fish Charlotte is teaming up with Exhale Healing. It's, and we're going to talk about that team actually in a second, but mm -hmm. the first things first, for which if you guys don't know, if you've just seen our website, tell us a little bit about what Exhale Healing does and what you guys provide for clients. Exhale Healing is a massage and body work studio, and the difference between us and other massage and body work studios is that we give personal care, and we really care about our clients. We want to follow up with clients. We do full times on the table, and we make sure that we work with the clients to create custom massage experiences for them. And, and you, you guys have a lot of interesting stuff going. We're going to get to the pregnancy massage in a second, because that kind of threw me. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned, we sat down a couple weeks ago and we met together, off camera obviously, and you mentioned to me something about runners come in and you work with runners a lot. What do you do with athletes and runners specifically to kind of help them loosen up, I guess? Well, with runners, I usually do a full leg massage. I do a lot of stretching. I do a lot of counter stretching. Like, I make them use their own body weight to um, stretch against me, and then I stretch them, and then I make sure I just work their whole leg, especially the quads and the IT band. Things that are very important for runners to stretch, but sometimes they don't think about it themselves. So it's just, it's just another way to help them so they don't have to think about the stretching, but also to not create injury. It's really good for post and pre events. Okay. Yeah, and you guys, I know you guys do a lot of events, like 5Ks and stuff like that. Yes. And, and what about this pregnancy massage? It wouldn't apply to me necessarily, but what is pregnancy massage and, and what's that whole story? We have a certified pregnancy massage specialist, and she's been trained to work with pregnant women to um, bolster them effectively, because it's very difficult to keep them on the table. They can't sit on their stomach, so we do kind of like a sideline position, and we just do a comforting massage. She knows the areas in which you can't massage when you're pregnant, because there's a couple that you shouldn't massage, and she can really help with comfort and increasing oxygen to the body, and really just decreasing stress while you're pregnant, which is very important. Huh. And what about if you're just a regular person, you're tense, you're tight, what can you guys offer somebody who just kind of wants the regular massage experience? Well, a 60-minute massage has been shown, a Swedish massage has been shown to increase oxytocin in the, in the body, which is a, which is a stress reducer. Mm -hmm. So just after one time, that will increase in the body. So even one massage is a benefit. Now, I have some hydration-specific questions, but before we get into that, for people who don't know or if they've seen the tweets or whatever and they're not sure, Tell the viewers at home a little bit about the donation you guys are doing for us, because it's a great idea. It's an awesome thing. All right. For every massage that we're doing in October and November, we're giving a dollar um, to No Fish Charlotte. And we really want to people to bring reusable water bottles because it's just more environmentally friendly. So for everybody that brings a reusable water bottle, we're giving $5 to No Fish Charlotte. That's a great donation, and I know people have already been coming in, obviously, taking mm -hmm. advantage of it. And I saw some tweets of people bringing in reusable oh, water yeah. bottles for it. We love to hear about people bringing <laughs> reusable water bottles. So we do, too, because we can't. We, we definitely use the money. Mm -hmm. um, and for you at home, we are going to show you guys, at the end of November, when we get the check, we're going to show you guys exactly what we did with the money. We've got some outreach program ideas that we're going to use with it. So it's going to be kind of a cool video there that we'll follow you up with. And before, I guess, before we, we go, we'll obviously link everything here and we'll show everybody kind of where to go. Let's talk about the hydration part of the massage. We wrote for you guys a couple weeks ago some FAQs about hydration, but it's really crucial to get the full massage experience that you're fully hydrated. Why is that and what can people do to make sure that they're hydrated? Um, hydrating before a massage is very important. Like the FAQ says, hydrating about as much as you would hydrate before working out is really recommended. Um, I can tell the difference immediately when I touch someone, and if they're hydrated or if they're not hydrated. Um, hydration, usually, when someone's dehydrated, their muscles are usually tense and I can't even get into them. They can barely feel the massage. So being hydrated during the massage really helps your muscles loosen up, and just it's just very important. And the whole kind of detoxification mm -hmm. thing, I guess. With oh, yes, and after yeah. the massage, definitely keeping hydrated because I do move toxins around into your body when I massage, especially with the deeper massages. So just drinking water and just detoxifying your body really helps with the pain after the massage it really helps you just feel better quicker yeah yeah so we'll make sure you guys when you come in to exhale that you get hydrated beforehand and mm -hmm. then you bring in your water bottle um, we'll link about the donation we're going to link to exhale to the directions to their place we'll link to their site and everything it's all over our website but we'll throw some links up on this one right. and obviously as you can see on the post we've got some pictures up too of their studio it's a great little studio here kind of in the heart of South Charlotte, Dilworth Myers Park area, excuse me. So if you guys get a chance, remember in October and November, they're donating money from every single massage to us so we can run some outreach programs. 
So thank you very much, Olga. It was a pleasure for, uh, to have me come down, and uh, we look forward to hearing about how these massages are going. Thank you for having me. We really appreciate it. All right, we'll see you guys next week on our next video. Thanks a lot.